Hello everyone, this is Joey Blanco with RWB Realty Group and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanted to switch things up a little bit with my market update. Now, as you know, typically my market update, I just go through a bunch of statistics and graphs. We talk about month supply, days on market and so forth. I think that's pretty boring. So what I'm gonna do going forward is I'm gonna give you an example of homes that have sold in the month that I'm talking about. So in this example, we're talking about the month of August for 2023, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what you could buy for 150,000, 250, 450, 750, and 1 million. Let's get right into it. So we're gonna start with $150,000. This is what you can get in the month of August, 2023 for $150,000. It's a three bedroom, one and a half bath, slightly over a thousand square feet in Midwest city. Uh, we've got a single car garage here, just plain Jane living area, tile floors. However, clean this, this isn't a fix and flip type of house. I wouldn't think this is a clot of just a regular nice home that a single family could move into and, and live in basic kitchen you know we're talking about the 150 price point but i would say that this is a nice kitchen for that price point we're going to jump up to the 250 range and i found a home that sold for 253,000. this home is also in midwest city three bedroom two bath 1781 square feet now we've got, we went from a one car garage. Now we've jumped up to a two car garage. Now this home surprised me when I saw the inside, at least in the living area. Uh, it looks like they've done some pretty nice updates. We've got that modern farmhouse feel. Um, we've got the wood beam across the top with the wood look tile floor and the barn door. House looks really nice, especially for that 250 price point. Now the kitchen, I would say the kitchen is meh. Um, now, don't get me wrong, it is a fully functional, you know, it's a nice kitchen. However, uh, when I look at the living area and I see the great job they did on, on this, I'm a little disappointed with the kitchen. But that being said, it's still a nice kitchen. The appliances uh, look like they've been upgraded and the backsplash is nice. All right, now we're going to jump up to 450. What can you get for $450,000? Well, you can get up to Edmond and you can get a three bed, two bath, 2452 square foot home. Now you can't see it from this photo, but this has got a three car garage. Now we start getting into the, I'd say, nicer uh, finishes. Uh, for example, the windows in that living area um, are almost floor to ceiling. Just, you know, the huge picture windows. We've got stone on the fireplace along with brick. We've got the nice wood look tile. And then you could see we've got crown molding and tall baseboards. Carry right into the kitchen nice backsplash the appliances look like they've been they're a little bit upgraded and the crown molding in the kitchen now one of the things that i would like to see in this price point i would think is probably custom cabinetry you know the cabinetry here doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling and that's that's a personal preference on on me um, but I feel that in the 450 price range, you probably should have some cabinetry that goes all the way up to the ceiling, maybe some glass on the top, and we'll see an example of that later. All right, now, $750,000. Well, $750 in August got you a three bedroom, three bath, 3446 square feet with an acre and a half in Tuttle. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Tuttle, it's just to the southwest of Oklahoma City. Let's jump inside. And we can see now they've stepped up the finishes. We've got a uh, massive stone 
fireplace that's electric. And then we're gonna get right into this kitchen. Now this kitchen is something else. We have got the cabinets that go all the way up to the ceiling. We've got the glass fronts on the top so you can display whatever you would like. Massive island. Um, the only, my only critique about spending $750,000 in this house is the refrigerator. I wonder why they did not go with a built-in refrigerator like a Viking or a Sub-Zero. The stovetop is a chef's stovetop, but it looks like they kind of skimped out on the refrigerator. That's a little disappointing. All right, now we've made it to the end. Million bucks. What could you buy for a million dollars? Well, it appears you could buy a castle, uh, just about. Um, at least one that is French-inspired uh, looking castle. Uh, 5,000 or 5,100 square feet, four, bath, four bedrooms, three and a half bath. The inside of this house is absolutely beautiful with uh, windows everywhere. And you could see through these windows into your back patio area. Now again, I don't understand why they didn't go all the way to the ceiling with the kitchen cabinetry. Um, they do have the built-in refrigerators, uh, which I love here, but I'm going to bring my cursor in here. For a million dollars, I would have thought this cabinet is sitting out here alone. I don't know. I would have done cabinetry all the way up to the ceiling, taking it all the way around. and. It just would have been a little bit better, a uh, little integrated better. But that, again, that's just my personal preference. This is a beautiful kitchen, don't get me wrong. But for a million dollars, I would have probably expect a little bit more. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you on this house uh, that we didn't see on any, any of the other houses is this outdoor area. Now, you know, this is a million dollar house and you've got a beautiful outdoor fireplace. You've got your ceramic cooker and you've got your uh, bar area there to the left hand side. And as you can see, this home is bricked all the way around. And so a million bucks, this is what you get. Well, that wraps it up for this market report for August 2023. I hope you liked this format. I think I'm going to stick with it for a little while. I, I enjoyed uh, searching you know, through the different price points to pick which homes I was going to showcase for you guys. If you have any suggestions of a price point that you would like to see, because I only went 150, 250, 450, 750, I didn't hit the 350 or the 650 price range. If you would like to see those, I could throw those in next time. Maybe leave out another one so the video doesn't run long. I always have to say, if you are in the market, to buy or sell a home, please give us a call. We would love to help you. RWB Realty Group, our contact information is always down below. It's been a pleasure talking to all of you tonight, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.